<laughs> hey guys, it's Tay here. I am an EHP Labs athlete and WBFF Pro. I'm here with my girlfriend, Becca, today. Hey guys, I'm Becca. I'm also an EHP athlete and I'm currently six weeks out for my first WBFF show, so I'm super excited. I'm so excited for you. She's literally looking amazing. How's prep going? Like, I've been yeah, to ask. It's been really good so far, but like, it's like the final grind. The last six I weeks know. is always the hardest. Six weeks, trust me, I, I, know. I know how you feel. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm so hungry. Hungry, <laughs> the poor thing. I'm taking her through a lower body session today, maybe like four to five exercises. What's your current like training split been like? At the moment, it's currently two upper, two lower. We cut out one of my upper sessions just so that I could kind of like Build come in nicely. Yeah. 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 Come in I love nicely. That. Yeah. That's awesome. So yeah, four to five exercises and I'm going to also take her and you guys through a couple of warm-ups that I personally like to do before my lower body sessions. But first, pre-workout. <laughs> We're drive scooping. <laughs> Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to be taking OxyShred. I personally really love this product because it gives me a really good energy boost first thing in the morning when I've got to do faster cardio. Especially in prep, it helps me suppress my hunger and really euphoric feeling to this one actually. Yeah. Um, I, I specifically love taking OxyShred as well because it is a really good thermogenic and it has ACL carnitine in it actually. So it has um, those fat burning properties, especially for Becca who is in prep. Um, and I will be taking Pride pre-workout. We are both a fan of this one, um, but currently, as I said, she's in prep, so she wants that more thermogenic effect to her um, pre-workout. But Pride is a vasodilator, so it's gonna help keep that blood in my muscles um, and give me a really good pump whilst I'm training, um, but also mental clarity, just so that I'm really focused on what I'm doing. And we're gonna get started. We're gonna have one scoop each, so let's get into it. Drop it. Oh. <laughs> are you joking? <laughs> you my fault, I said drop it. You drop it. it. Oh, cheers. Get your glutes ready, girlfriend. Mm. Yum. So good. So good. Yum. Yes. Love that. Let's do it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so as I stated before, I'm going to be taking Becca through our lower body session, but I'm going to start with some warm ups. All of the exercises that we're going to be doing today are actually going to be in the next EHP Labs challenge that I am one of the coaches for. So I'm super excited for that. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So we're gonna start off with single leg glute bridges. So I'm gonna get you laying on your back, babe. So I've got Becca laying on her back, arms either side. We're going to have this at a right angle. So when she pushes up, this leg is going to be straight. As I said, single leg. So straighten that leg out for me all the way down. Yep. Thrust up for me. So we want this at more so of a right angle and driving through that heel. Leg comes all the way down, all the way up. Perfect, there we go. All the way down. Nice squeeze here. So we're gonna aim for around 12 reps each side. Fine, <laughs> Ah, like it, the okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up we have lying adductors. We're going to do single leg as well, and we're actually going to add a weight for a little bit of resistance on this. So we really want to warm up the adductors and the glutes as well, um, especially before our compound movements, just to prevent any exercises, but also so that you can fire the right muscles correctly. So get into it, babe. We're going to lie down. Back leg is going to be bent. This one's going to be straight. I'll get you to thrust your hips all the way forward for me. Yep, yeah, perfect. Hold this here. So pop your hand on top there. Cool. Flex this back foot for me. Good. And then come all the way up. Perfect. Yep. So around 12 reps either side as well. Beautiful. So you really want to contract here at the top. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the basic barbell back squat. I'm going to get Becca to help me rack the weights, but we're gonna aim for like maybe 12, um, 10 to 12 reps. Um, and I'm gonna run you guys through a couple of cues that I like to use when I'm squatting as well. So let's do it. Alrighty, so we're gonna center you in the middle. We've already measured it to just underneath your armpits. Good, hands are at a beautiful width. Hop on under that bar. Good, up nice and slowly as well, just to control. Good, couple of steps back, nice. 
tight scapula through here, take a big breath in, and then knees, shoot them out, toes slightly out as well. Yep, that's perfect. Nice, just give me one more. Brace. Perfect, let's wrap it up. Nice. How are your knees? <laughs> Cracking. <laughs> Crack <-like. laughs> Alrighty, so next we have a barbell hip thrust. So there's a couple of things that I like to do while setting up just so that you do this correctly. Um, the first thing is obviously the bench size. So you do not want it to be too high or too low. You kind of want to make sure that your back is parallel to the ground um, when you're in the top part of the hip thrust. So I'm going to get Becca to get in that position for me now. Yep, perfect. And we're just using a towel for this. Um, we don't have a barbell pad, so you guys can easily just use a towel for this. So come on under. Good. I'm gonna roll it back, perfect. And then again, we want her legs to be in a right angle. So roll them up, beautiful, get set. I'm gonna come around the other side. That was my microphone. <laughs> just leave it on the ground. It's not broken, cool. is it? That's perfect. So. Another thing is we always want to make sure that her chin is coming down. Beautiful thrust up. I'll get you to move actually a slightly further down the box for me. So we just want it to be on your scapula there. I'll hold the box sort of before. Yep, that's perfect. Arms straight, chin is tucked. Come all the way down for me and do one rep. It's beautiful. So you want to think about shortening the length of your torso here and thrusting up with obviously predominantly just your glutes, driving through those heels. I like to always think push those knees out as well, just to get those adductors working. You can use a booty band, but we're gonna do that without today. We'll go for 12 reps. Beautiful. Good, keep that breath controlled, driving through those heels. See how she goes down and lengthens and then shortens that torso. How do they feel? Feel really good. Perfect, drop those knees out. Beautiful reps. Nice, give me two more. Perfect, and relax. Thank you. Okay guys, so we just finished with hip thrusts. Now Tay's gonna take me upstairs. I'm gonna do one of my favorite exercises, which is Romanian deadlifts. So it's gonna uh, focus more on glutes and hamstrings, and we're gonna really feel the burn with this one. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty, so next up we're doing barbell Romanian deadlifts. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing you guys a couple of clues. Um, clues, sorry, let me do that again. Clues, 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 clues. This can Alright. Alrighty guys, next up we have um, dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. So I've got some pretty awesome cues for this, but whilst I'm do it, uh, doing it, Becky's gonna actually go through a couple of cues as well. So my most favorite cues, this is obviously a hip hinge movement because it is most glute and hamstring focused. So what you wanna focus on doing is obviously keeping your spine nice and aligned so we don't want our head too far back or too far forward, just nice and neutral. I'm gonna pick up the dumbbells and just demonstrate for you guys. So we're here, I'm going to hinge at my hips and slightly bend through my knees. And Becky's just gonna give you guys some other cues as I do them. Yeah, one of the big things that I see a lot happening is um, hyperextending your hips at the top. So squeezing your glutes too yeah. far forward, um, which isn't where the contraction is. The contraction, like most of the work you're doing is at the bottom of the movement. So when you're coming up, there's no need to really squeeze too hard at the top. Yeah, definitely. And then when you're coming down as well, I really like to focus on keeping my fingertips just hovering over my shoelaces. So we're not too far out and we're not too far in. We're just focusing it over the top of my shoelaces and I'm predominantly driving through my heels because I feel the tension most through my glutes and hamstrings as I go down. At 
the bottom, I like to hold it for like one second and then I like to separate my glutes so I kind of get the feeling more at the bottom of my glute so that I can really um, like squeeze up into it. It's one of the things I think about. Yo. How that feel? Yeah, really good. Yeah, they are honestly really nice. one of my favorite ones. I reckon one of my like, too. The, the difference from my glutes from starting to do these compared to before is honestly like the gluten hammy tie-in. I just find that this and yeah. um, Bulgarian split squats are honestly like my true favorite exercises for that tie-in. Yeah, and we're gonna do Bulgarian split squats next. Yes, so crap. We have to Let's go. Do those. Bulgarian split squats up next. <laughs> Alrighty, and next up we are doing Bulgarian split squats. We're only going to be using one dumbbell for this movement um, and we're actually going to use the opposite arm to leg that we have up. So I'll get you to start on the ground for me. There's a couple of cues that I want um, yourself and everybody um, to be mindful of is you don't want this front foot to be too far out in front or too far inwards. If it's too far out in front, you're predominantly mainly probably going to pull something, but um, you're going to be using too much of your hamstring um, and probably have an injury. So having it um, just in the middle, so at a right angle from here is going to be um, the perfect angle. Too far in as well is more um, quad dominant. So we've got her here. She's going to pick up that dumbbell in that other hand. Good. Nice posture as well. Um, the neck and head is going to be neutral and then she's going to drive up through that front heel. Yep, perfect. And you want your toe to be flat like this. So maybe foot half off the box is perfect. Go for it. Beautiful depth. Nice. And what I like to think is driving that knee back into the box as you go. This is another one of my favorites that is in the app, guys. I love this one, especially to build that gluten hammy tie-in. Um, really make those glutes pop. Beautiful. So foot is flat on the bench and I like to have it half on the box or the bench. Perfect, so we're coming down, we're pushing that knee back into the bench, driving up on that front heel and really squeezing that front glute. This is one of my favorites to build that gluten hammy tie in and really make those glutes pop. Beautiful. Thanks. How'd that feel? Yeah, so good. Good. Can really feel it burning. Perfect. Honestly, that was such a good session, guys. Our glutes and our legs are on fire. How did you find it? Yeah, it was super intense. But that oxy shed kept me going. Like, yes, yeah. Gave Oxyshed. me really good boosts. 100%, 100%. We yeah. got our sweat on. Um, I'm super excited for the challenge to come out, you guys. If you are looking for some structure um, and some workouts just to get yourself on top of things, then highly recommend this. There is um, for all fitness levels as well, um, so you do not have to worry about a thing. Nutrition is covered as well. Um, so yeah, I'm super stoked and I can't wait. I had so much fun today. I'm glad. It was such a pleasure training with you. And guys, if you do not want to miss another one of EHP Lab's videos, then click that subscribe button and also hit the like button to help us out as well. And you shall see us both very soon.